so hi everyone uh, in this video we will going to see that i learn to uh, get the information about the number of grants roles and privileges given to a particular schema or users on the oracle database so for example uh, we can say that read write and execute on a table isn't uh, these are the grants uh, given to the schema or user so if you are user and you want to uh, read from a table okay so for that you need a read or select on that table permission to do that stuff okay so in that way those are comes in the section of grants and roles for example you are uh, an application user okay so uh, for application user you can create a role and then assign that role to another user so that it will be uh, it will uh, he will access the same uh, level of access to you so these are the roles for example we have we are having a dba role in the oracle database we are having system a system is a privileges okay so in that way we can say that for doing some kind of steps like a read a read write execute uh, these are the permission on a table so for that you need to first assign this permission or grant the permission to the user or schema so that he will also do the same step on the table okay so in this video we will going to see that how to get the information that uh, a particular user is having a uh, system privileges on that table or objects or table privileges on that object or role privileges on the oracle database okay so in this ways we can uh, see it in this video okay so you can see here i already written some uh, notes for this so in this video we will going to use these three views okay so dba underscore sys underscore privileges so this is basically for system privileges so we will see here that uh, how many system privileges the schema or user having the next will be dba tab privileges so this is uh, basically table privileges so we will see uh, using this view that uh, how many permission the schema or user have has on the different uh, table space uh, tables on the oracle database okay the final value the dba underscore role okay so using this view uh, we can view the uh, number of roles a particular schema or user having okay so for example the first we will see dba sys okay dba underscore sys privileges okay so let's see here so for getting this we will select star from dba sys privileges and where we will mention our schema name okay so for example we want to see that uh, how many system privileges the squad user having okay has so for this i will mention here grantee as a squad okay so this squad is basically our user for which we want to get the information about the system privileges so you can mention any any user here so here you can see that we uh, we are getting this okay so you can see that uh, our grantee uh, is caught and the privileges is as mentioned so create any view alter any cube create lockdown profile so these are the privileges these are the system privileges given to the squad user okay so this is how we can do it so you can see here create any trigger force any transaction grant any role okay so these are the privileges given to the squad user okay on the system level so if you want to migrate this schema to another database okay so you have to make sure that uh, on the other database also you need to give the same privileges to the schema okay to the squad schema if you want to migrate this squad schema okay so this is for the system privileges okay now again for the table level privileges we will see what are the privileges scott schema have okay dba underscore tab underscore privileges okay where grantee is equal to scott so you can see we have not given any table level privileges to the scott okay so let me give one of the grant read on dba tables to scott Oh, one minute here show user show user system okay
now guys we will see that whatever tables level privileges the squad has okay so for this we will execute this okay so currently we don't have any privileges given to the squad user so let's create one for that okay so in the partial i have logged into the server as a sysdb okay so now we will give a read on permission on db tables to the squad user okay run give okay done now again we will execute the same for the table so you can see that Scott is having read privileges okay on the db tables uh, uh, view okay so in this way we can give another else okay like let me give read on db table space to Scott okay done okay let me read on db table space table spaces okay to Scott grant okay done again we will see <laughs> so you can see here that the squad user having read permission on the dba tables and table space views okay so in this way we can see the given user having table level uh, permissions or not okay so let again we need to revo revoke all this revoke read on dba tables and db table spaces from Scott. Okay, again, revoke read on DBA tables from Scott. Okay, done. Now read on DBA table spaces from Scott. Okay, done. Again, let's check. Okay, so we have revoked all the DBA table spaces or uh, table level access from Scott. Okay, now the final will be the dba or all privileges okay privileges so for this also we will use dba role then underscore privilege okay where again the guarantee is scott so you can see here that for the scott user the granted role is dba okay then again the granted role is connected so the scott user having two roles db and connect okay and you can also check for the admin option there is no delegate option there is no and default role yes it is default role common for all okay so in this way we can use this so if you want to migrate the schema to the another database you can uh, list all uh, the system tables and role privileges or uh, uh, grants and roles and privileges and then make sure on the other database also <clears throat> you will need to have uh, set the same uh, access to the Scott user so in this way we can do it so hope guys uh, this video is helpful for you thank you for watching